hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be setting up our budget for the month of december as we all know december will be the last month in this apartment so three years later and we're about to be making our final um you know payment because our lease is set to end at the end of december we are supposed to be moving into our first ever home in december with an expected closing date of December the 20th. We are supposed to have guests in December. Um, I have some events that I have to go to in December. So December is going to be a wild one, but I think that we have formulated a budget that is going to be, um, that will work. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes as planned. And I'm going to share with you right now, um, how the month is going to look like everything that we're expecting, um, everything that we're budgeting for some of our goals. And then of course, we are going to walk through setting up or finalizing our actual December monthly budget. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Okay, so of course, as always, I'm going to be using a budget planner. Obviously, this is a 7x9 Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. And I do have a referral link in the description box if you would like $10 off of your first purchase. So flipping on to December, um, this is kind of our landing page. And so I just want to kind of walk through this and set this up as I normally would. So the first thing that I do is I go ahead and take off this ponytail holder that's cutting off my circulation and I put when all of our bills are due. I do love having, you know, like a monthly view. Makes me happy. That's what I like. Just confirming that that wasn't going to, um, that that was not going to smear. And then the next bill we have is health insurance. And we'll talk all about all of this stuff when we get into the actual budget, which is going to be <laughs> momentarily. Um, and then we have my husband, CC bill, credit card bill. And then on the um, 16th, we have electricity. And then we have Shay Jim. That's annoying. We live near an airport. So there's that. And then what else do we have on the 17th? We have Jim. And then we have... Sometimes I have to refer to the month before. What the heck? Oh, it's fine. I meant to put that one of these over here because this is my credit card. And then this is my husband's gym. And then we have the 20th, which would be cell phones. And then Shea student loan. Mark student loan. And then the last bill is our life insurances. So I don't think I'm going to put the actual amounts today because I don't really, I mean, I'll do it, but like it's not really necessary because I have it. I list them on our monthly budget. So I don't think I'm going to do that. But just for references regarding these paydays, this will be Shay full time, my husband's full time. And I'm not going to put that for every one of them because he gets paid every Friday. So I know in my head, all of these are for my husband's full time job. And then this is the YouTube payday, I believe, for December. And those are the um, income sources that we're going to mark regarding our goals. Um, I think that some of the major things that we want to do include uh, inspection for the house. 
and getting that taken care of. Paying the movers. Buying blinds and getting them installed, like stat. <laughs> and then paying off our couch, which we have on layaway at Ashley for no other good reason other than our house is not finished being built yet. So we don't see the point to go ahead and buy the whole couch. And I don't see the significance in doing that. I'd rather keep that money in my pocket and then just pay off the couch whenever the house is like actually finished and we can schedule the delivery. And then our goal is going to be probably what we plan to save. So regarding events, um, we do have a date night on the first, right? Yes. So that's just going to be something that we need to be mindful of regarding our budget. And that's going to be like our major December date night. Um, and then our car insurance was due on the 5th, but we've already paid it as of the end of, um, as of the end of November. So we don't have to pay that. We paid the whole premium in full all six months. So we don't have to pay that again until June. Um, there is going to be a sleepover. There's supposed to be a sleepover this weekend, um, from Friday to Saturday for the mentor group that I'm in. And I'm just going to mark that because I may, if I go, <laughs> I'm probably going to donate some kind of snacks or, you know, just per, you know, pay for whatever. And then if I don't go, I'll probably still do the same thing. Um, one thing that I want to remember is that this is the company party. Yes. Holl at company party, which I don't have to buy buy anything really for the company party but we are doing a secret santa gift exchange so um i'm going to put that here because that's a, a an expense that i need to be mindful of for the month of december and then i am going to a planner meet up here and normally i don't mark i don't write in my planner in this budget planner stuff like this but december <laughs> I'm pretty sure December is going to be one of the craziest months of my life and I'm trying to be prepped and ready and what I'm just ready to just pay this, pay that, schedule this, schedule that, do this, do that. I'm trying to be on my A game in December. So that's why I want to put all financial information here. Um, the next thing that might require us to come out of pocket or me to come out of pocket is my best friend is supposed to be coming down on and my cousin this day I think they were thinking or my friend was thinking the 27th through the 30th but I think due to having something important to do at work on Monday this day the 30th she wants to come the 26th through 29th it matters not really to me I just I got a little something up my sleeve so I want to be prepared for whenever they do come so I do I have gone ahead and marked that in here and then they would be here. I'm supposed to have more visitors. Well, let me back up. We are going to a brunch. My friend and me um, on this day it's a planner brunch. I'm dragging her along and I don't know if there are going to be vendors or anything that I could buy, but I'm going to mark that here in case I want to spend a little bit of my allowance money there. And then the last thing is, I think I'm supposed to have more visitors this day. They have not confirmed. They have until the end of November to confirm. <laughs> uh, the people who are supposed to be coming are my siblings, but two of my siblings, my mom's kids, she has three kids. I mean, there were, she created three of us. <laughs> I have other siblings, but they came from before my dad met my mom so from his first wife so anyway um all of that to say my mom's kids are supposed to be getting together me and my sister and brother for new year's ish but they are not as planned out as me but i really do need them to confirm by the end of november if they've gotten off work if they've done all of that i'm not trying to be extra but if they're going to come with their spouses and stay with me and my spouse then I need to prepare for that that would mean like buying an air mattress I told them I would take care of buying all the food if they came so like I need to know what I need to be doing for, 
ahead of time because December is going to be crazy and I ain't got time for no foolery. So that is what December is going to look like pretty much in a nutshell. I'm leaving out a bunch of things that aren't necessarily related to finances, but this is pretty much what December is going to look like for finances. So let's go ahead and actually create our monthly budget for December. Okay. So the first thing here is income. And as we all know, we do not take my husband's income into consideration whenever we're doing our monthly budget because we save all of his income. If we're not saving all of his income, which is obviously what we're doing to prep for this house stuff, then we're usually putting it towards debt. Um, we are very, very close <laughs> to being finished with paying off debt. But as of right now, we are essentially um, pausing that to get this house so that's kind of what's going on so we are only going to budget using my income and I expect my income to be way higher than usual I guess way higher than usual let's see what I put for November yeah let's see what I put for October mm, okay October was a good month um higher than usual because of my side hustle work so I'm gonna put $7,100 for budgeting and my husband's income again we're not budgeting for that that's just it literally goes straight into our checking account which we which serves as our savings account and it's like our house fund okay moving on to um first of all just to even talk about this number i may bring in more is very possible considering all of the side hustles that i have but um either way i try to we just try to it's a standard thing we try to budget for the least amount of income the minimum amount not including any extra work if you did not have like a side hustle like an online side hustle or anything where you could really make money instantaneously by a sale or something like that and let's say you worked a full-time job and a part-time job or you worked a lot of overtime i would still encourage you to budget using just the money that you receive from um your 40 hours not any additional money always have a plan for that extra money if it does come in you know put it towards savings put it towards the credit card put it towards the debt put it towards a gift whatever but i would not count on that money if it's not guaranteed because you don't want to find yourself in a little situation okay moving on to our bills the first category is housing and currently we pay rent slash water and now pest control they're all included together and we pay 750 dollars for that we do live in the state of georgia and we live in what i consider a low cost of living area but this is my standard cost of living anything beyond <laughs> the cost of living that i'm paying now or that i've been paying my whole life or dealing with my whole life would be to me a high cost of living area so i say low cost of living area really lightly because it's really my standard it really should be the standard in a lot of places but obviously i mean i'm pretty sure it's the standard in a lot of places but obviously there are some major cities where the cost of living is much higher the next category is utilities first up we have cable slash internet and um one of my little one of my smaller goals even in december is to get this transfer to our new house of course and to possibly add on another cable box possibly but as of right now we are contracted for you know it's like a two-year contract for 11072 for a sports package high speed internet and like 140 channels and that's comcast slash xfinity and if i do add another box i think it's ten dollars so that is potentially going to go up i don't know if it's going to go up based on like where we live and stuff like that i'm not quite sure i uh, I can't imagine that <laughs> they're going to make me pay more just because I've moved a couple miles up the way, but I'm expecting that to possibly go up about $10 or so due to adding on another box. Um, next up, we have electricity in the utilities category, and this is Georgia Power, of course. I don't know if they serve all of Georgia, but they serve my area. And this is going to, I'm going to budget $100. I don't know what this amount will be until about two or three days into December, but I can look on the Georgia Power app and look at my estimate and see what they're projecting for um, December. And that's what I've done. And I'm budgeting $100 for that. Next, we have our cell phones. 
My husband does ride share sometimes, Uber, Lyft, and all of that. And so we recently upgraded to unlimited for both of us, unlimited text, call, and data. And we got our first bill the other day and it came in at 101.50. So that's what it's gonna be moving forward. And that is AT&T prepaid because we have prepaid phones and whenever we upgrade our phones, which is rare, we buy them in cash. We currently use, uh, what we got? <laughs> we currently use iPhone XRs actually. Uh, I mean, it's right here. I just <laughs> was drawing a blank. I don't really care. I just need my phone to work. Like I don't really care what kind it is, if it's fancy, if it's not. Moving on to the next category, which is lifestyle. The first one is my allowance. And we have been doing $100 per month since the beginning of time. That just seems to work for us. I mean, I don't know what either of us would need to purchase that is over $100. That's not, that wouldn't go into a different category. My hair, over $100. It goes in the beauty category. Um, any business supplies or business equipment is going to be over $100. Probably it's going to go in the business category, but any personal spending, you know, Starbucks or wine or whatever, um, any personal spending like that, we normally can stay under <clears throat> our little budget of $100. And if we go over, it's not that big of a deal. Like I'm not going to be tripping <laughs> if my husband's like, $20 over his budget or as long as we're not spending you know $200 a month each or 500 or as long as we're not going over $100 each month or anything like that I think it's perfectly fine and this is just our agreed upon amount if we ever wanted to change it which I'm sure we will one day then we will but we got another we got <laughs> we have a lot of um, financial goals coming up so I'm pretty sure we're gonna stick to that but this works for us we're not really fancy people otherwise this would be more I'm sure the next category is beauty. I was thinking I was going to get my hair done in January before my California trip. I'm going to California with my friend and her. My friend is and her two best friends, me and someone else. We're all going to California for her birthday. That's where she wants to go. I was thinking I would get my hair done in January. But then after further thought, I was like, mm, probably should get it while I'm off work for two weeks in December. So I'm going to try to schedule that for December. I'm going to budget 225 for beauty with honestly you guys like 170 of that going to my hair like it's really expensive <laughs> hashtag black girl props and then the rest would be like these little glue on nails or press on nails and my husband's haircut any little makeup item although I have like Ulta gift cards galore because that's what I ask for every occasion so that's what that would cover the next one is donations slash gifts I do have money coming out of my checks at work. I donate to two causes or I will beginning in January. I think I, th I have one now. I think the new one will start in January or maybe it starts now. I don't really know, <laughs> but um, I also, we also do like random giving. Um, and this category is only for what I really feel comfortable with showing online, if you will. Um, like there are times where well people owe me money now a eh? but there are times where people will ask us for money or we just feel compelled to give something and it, you know some stuff ain't for social media so I very much will not share that but I'll de I definitely always budget for and share like birthday gifts and stuff like that so for December I'm gonna budget four hundred dollars which is a lot we don't really do Christmas but if my mother-in-law don't leave me alone, leave her son alone about some Kate Spade purse, I'm going to know something. So we are just going to budget 400 and that's going to cover, you know, if I want to get my family, um, it's a lot of people that's coming down here. So if I get them a gift, it's going to be small, except my nieces, because I like them. Their gifts will be better than the other people's. But um, if I want to get them all a little something, something. If I want to get my cousin and best friend a little something, something, if I want to get, you know, my mother-in-law, my husband, if he wants to get me anything, whatever, we're going to try to stick to $400. Hopefully the Christmas spirit does not take a hold of us because that's when we get into spending money that we didn't budget for whenever we just feel compelled to give and we decide to give more, but we're going to try to do $400. I think that that's, that's fine. So toiletries, um, we're moving into a new house. Um, but I can't imagine that toiletries are going to be any more expensive. I mean, the toiletries aren't going to be that any more expensive. But I guess um, 
normally we do like 25 30 or something like that so i'm budgeting 50 dollars in december which is like a higher budget because most months like some months we'll do like 25 and that'll like last month in october we budgeted 50 but we spent 25 so i'm just budgeting 50 in case i do need to do you know a little bit more toilet paper due to guests or you know some other kind of toiletry item due to having guests there some toothbrushes in case they need them or you know something like that um the next category is miscellaneous we are not sure what december is going to bring um we have excess money in our house fund in addition to the down payment and all of that but um that's really for house related stuff i don't know if there are going to be any other like miscellaneous things to pop up in december so instead of doing 100 dollars, which is what we normally budget for i'm just going to do 175 which is just like a, a random number that, that we kind of came up with because i just want to have a little bit extra cushion i don't know you guys i think i feel like i got december on lock but i don't know what kind of foolery could go down and throw off my budget but either way i'm trying to be prepared for it the next category is going to be travel i will not be traveling anywhere for the month of december neither will my husband not even an option like don't expect me nowhere because i ain't going count me out okay so the next category the last category in lifestyle which isn't really lifestyle but that's where it is um is business and this is for um the items and stuff that I need to run my sticker shop these stickers came from my sticker shop if you guys haven't seen January like not to shameless plug because this is my channel but like January's kit is fire um also I'm trying to do a Black Friday sale which you guys should see this video before then where I um where I release another bundle for January February and March because I released my first bundle bundle last week but yeah, January is cute, but February and March look even better, if you can just imagine. <laughs> um, but that's going to be for, this 500 is going to be for sticker paper and ink and stuff that I need to run my sticker shop. Next category is going to be health. So the first one is going to be, oh, I spit, and so that smear. I mean, I didn't mean to spit, but <laughs> such is life. Um, going to be both of our gyms. My husband is actually his he hasn't been to the gym in like at least a year his we went and had his membership canceled but it doesn't end until december so this should be the last month that we pay for his gym membership well it will be or i'm sure i'll catch a case the next one is going to be transportation that's the next category for which we have gas inside of there and we're budgeting 200 um my commute to work is going to be a little longer. My husband's will pr maybe be a little longer too. Maybe not. I don't know. But um, we're going to budget a little bit more for gas for that. Although, um, I don't work for like two weeks in December. The place is like shut down. So I'm pretty sure, I think one department works. But um, I'm pretty sure I'm not really going to be able to see how much I am much more I am using in gas until January also this is a little high because my husband does rod share the next category is car insurance so I'm not gonna put that here because we've already paid car insurance life insurance though I will put that is due on the 27th of each month for my husband and me they're not together they're I mean you I'm pretty sure you can't have a joint life insurance account um, or whatever, but we they're due at the same on the same day because we signed up on the same day after we got married. The next one is renter insurance. So um, we paid this up until May just to get a discount. I don't think I thought it through a lot or maybe I didn't. We didn't know that we were going to be moving into a house, but I will put this on here, although nothing is due because I want to make sure that I this stands out so I can call whenever we move into the house and cancel after we get the homeowner well it doesn't matter after we after we move out of here December 31st um when our lease ends call them cancel and get my refund of what's probably going to be like $50 <laughs> but that's what I'm going to do for renter insurance and then my husband is paying health insurance so he was once on my vision insurance somehow he got dropped off of there so we just paid for his stuff out of pocket like his eye exam and his 
contacts and whatever but i'm about to put him back on my vision insurance open enrollment is literally right now so i have the paperwork to fill it out and i'm gonna put him back on there which is going to be seven dollars per month and he is on my dental insurance already which is like dirt cheap to have him on there but now he's paying for his own health insurance out of pocket and that is 218.61 a month and then we have student loans so shay student loan i feel like i'm talking a lot am i yeah okay matters matters not because i gotta talk but i feel like i'm that is gross i think i moved too fast my minimum payment is 221.78 my husband's is 7342 and I cannot wait to finish paying off those loans. And then the next category we have is savings. So again, we save all of my husband's income. And then for my savings, for my income, we are scheduled to save 2650. And we have a plan for all this money is going towards house stuff. And then the last category here wonder what that is that random dot <laughs> does anybody know moving on the next one is going to be general savings like these are in the savings categories um and this is what we actually call rollover this is money that we will have in our account to roll over to the next month so definitely forgot food literally skipped right over it so for food we are budgeting one thousand dollars our food budget is pretty high but it does account for food slash dates and alcohol and groceries and restaurants and all of that and we're okay with it for right now so anyway um had to throw that in there because i totally forgot Whew. That was a lot, but we've gotten through it. So this is our budget for the month of December. Last month in the apartment. Better be, hopefully will be the first month in the house. I'm not in a rush to move into this house, but I've already had this lease. It's scheduled to end December 31st. That's what I told these people and that's what is going to happen. And so I need to be up out of here by December 31st for sure. So anyway, this is it for our budget for the month of December. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.